Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are here with one of my viewers drops. We are lucky enough to get to open all of these. We are also going to be doing the follow up trade ups. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. I've noticed this a little bit earlier today, but with the new season, we are now in season 13. Um, I have actually gotten a little bit better luck on drops compared to previous seasons. I don't know if they changed the drop rates or something. Maybe we can get them something good because of it. Maybe I was just lucky. Who knows? Let's go ahead and find out. We're going to start at the bottom with the uncommon drops. Work our way up. We are opening the golden drops as well and doing the following trade-ups. Here we go. Let's start off with the uncommons. The best thing we can really hope for when it comes to the uncommons is hoping for just like any rarity higher. Uncommons, when it comes to the items themselves, they aren't very great. So we're just going to hope for anything in the rare to very rare category. Higher, better, even better, but it's very unlikely. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start with an uncommon out of the uncommon drop with the tempest wheels okay i have not seen those in so long luckily these drops trade-ups still do work they did not remove that with the removal of trading so all these items especially these uncommons that you know really nobody's going to use like this decal for example we can still trade up thankfully <laughs> we're not going to be stuck with them anyway there we go nice better we got a rare and it's the wild cat ears i actually really like this topper that was probably the second topper set i ever got in this game hey very rare very nice okay goop that is actually not that bad of a decal i like it getting a very rare out of an uncommon is incredibly lucky though all right that's okay balancing it out with the uncommons we got to do all those trade-ups anyway foreman wheels down to the last 10 for the uncommons. Thankfully, we don't have too many uncommons. It is mostly going to be the higher rarities for this opening. Ooh, very rare again. Awesome light speed. That's always great. Unfortunately, you can't get them painted from these openings, but, you know, still a really nice trail. Plenty of much worse items in this crate, believe me. Oh, and it just proved my point. There you go. The Morty antenna from Rick and Morty. All right, we've got six more. I think I heard the money boost again. I could be wrong. No, of course not. Yep, there it is. Another money boost. It's unbelievable after several seasons that glitch of opening these drops is still a thing. You can still hear the boost if you get a boost. My goodness. Nice. Another rare. Okay. Okay. A gross rare, but a rare nonetheless. You guys have to remember, even if we don't get a great item out of, say, like a rare or a very rare from these drops. There you go. Speaking of very rares... Ooh, that's actually not a bad one, though. Um, even if you do get a bad item from those, each one of these very rares, each one of these rares is five of the previous rarity when it comes to the trade-ups. So, yes, you know, this is not an amazing very rare. It's not a painted wheel or something. But this does equal five rares out of a trade-up. So it just saves some crates, you know? Into a rare. Again, great. Nice, the shark fin. You've recently started being able to get those painted out of the item shop. Same with the Stego. That's such a good topper, too. I do have a titanium white and black Stego. They actually look really nice. All right, we are done with the uncommons. Now we are going to move into the bulk of this opening, which is going to be 66 rares. Obviously, we are guaranteed a rare or higher. We are definitely hoping for some very rares and imports out of these, as many as we can get. Okay, first rare. Oh, and that is easily probably one of the top three best rares in these drops. The Gale Fire for the Octane. That is such a nice, really clean decal. If he does not have one of these, I will probably save that from the trade-ups. That is definitely worth keeping if you don't have it. Hey, first import of the opening, and it is a snake skin. Oh, no. Let's see. Another rare, but it's a plasma boost. That is actually probably a pretty nice boost, but again, you can't get any of these boosts painted unless you get them as an import. The imports are where the boosts can be painted on this one. Nice, the catfish topper. Those used to be able to be painted as well. Again, discontinued, but that was actually a pretty popular and kind of hard to find uh, topper for this game. All right, we got 40 more rares. We still have so many crates, guys. Nice, second import. Oh, I saw the top of the Octane. That's the one bad thing about getting imports when you're using an Octane while doing these openings. I always get excited thinking I got an Octane. But there we go. We got the Crackle Boost. I don't love the sound of it, but honestly, if you look at the color, I love the color com combination of this boost. It looks really nice. 
Oh, the nitrous boost. The only credit I will give this boost is it's different than any other boost in this game. That is the only thing I will give it. Other than that, it sounds awful. I really hate the sound. Another rare. But I love this rare. That is definitely an okay rare. Top rare available in these drops. You can argue with me all you want on those. I love the butterfly topper. I used to main this on my endo preset when I started playing this game. I love it. I think it's adorable. Nice, another import. Ooh, comet boost. Again, another really nice boost. Not one of the few that are originally in on crate though, so you can't get that one painted. We're not missing anything. Finally, okay, back to the very rares. Awesome, that's another paint finish we did not get yet, but that is a good one. For those of you guys who did not get one of the early rocket passes and got it, and got glitter as a paint finish, this is a really nice substitute, so you guys should see if you have this one. I think I heard a boost. I think I heard a boost and it's an import. Yep, that makes sense. There it is, the power shot. Nice, better, back to the very rares. And we got the wheels, let's go, Spiralis. Even though technically these aren't painted, these do by default look pretty lime in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure if there's an actual lime painted version of these wheels, even if there is, I don't know why. <laughs> because these definitely, every single time I see these, I think they're lime. Where's the variety? Come on, there's so many items we haven't gotten yet. Hey, there we go. First painted item so far. We got a pair of forest green Falcos. Could have definitely been worse color wise. Falcos, you know, they're okay. I think there's definitely not enough color to them. You know, the wheel itself on the inside, the color only covers a small portion. It definitely seems like it's a mostly tire wheel, but it could have definitely been worse and I'll always take painted out of these drops. That's great. One of these days, with the amount of drops that I open, with the amount of crates I open, someday I will call what item that I get. And sun damage, that is actually an incredibly slept on paint finish. Check to see if you guys have this one. It is a legacy paint finish if you guys got the game before free to play. Uh, but this paint finish is actually one of the ways you can get your car as dark as possible as your primary. It looks really nice. Uh, of course, we're ending on a rare, that's fine. And it's the Mass Moon Wheels again, all right. Here we go, guys. We have 18. That's quite a few. 18 very rare drops. So this is probably going to be, quantity-wise, our best chance of getting something really good. Nice. Speaking of imports. Oh, it didn't. There, It wasn't a boost. I got so hopeful that it would be an octane. But the Hyro wheels, those actually ended up being really popular. Again, these look kind of like a default, you know, maybe saffron type of color. So you could definitely use this with a yellow preset. But not bad. Not bad. They're definitely one of the more cleaner wheels, you know, in general. But I haven't really used them very much. Nice. Okay. Import. No. <laughs> It's either going to be a painted octane or it's going to be a wheel. And both times it's been a wheel so far. I'm loving that we're actually getting a decent amount of variety. We're not getting like a bunch of things just in, over and over again. And there we go. Our very first exotic out of a very rare drop too. That's actually incredibly unlikely. I will take it. That is perfect for trade up material. That's great. Let's go! Nice! I love getting black non-crate wheels. That is amazing. We got the forest green Falcos. Now we got black. That is definitely the best color to get of those wheels. Getting any black non-crate wheels is so unlikely, but we did it. Let's go. Out of just a small handful of very rare drops, we got black Falcos. I think the only way this could have been better is if they were OEMs or Sterns, but these are definitely a nice third option. That's great. Here we go, last very rare, and then I do think we have a small handful of import openings. Oh, okay, we're gonna end that on a very rare, and it's gonna be another dot matrix. All right, we do have three import drops. Come on, come on, come on. Of course, import, and it's a boost. I love Enchanter. Enchanter looks good and honestly does not sound that bad. It checks off both boxes for me. It's actually a good boost. Ooh, again, what is going on with the lagginess? 
Uh, we're going to end on probably the worst import boost in this crate, and that is the Ninja Star. Honestly, I don't know about you guys, but the sound is just like nails on a chalkboard. I can't stand it. Let's start with the Golden Egg 23s, then we'll do the trophies, pumpkins, and then toolkits. Here we go. Here is the Egg 23. There's a lot more variety of items, and they can all be painted out of this. Oh, and of course, we get a rare. We get a rare. Ah, oh, at least it's certified, but my gosh. The egg is definitely proving to, you know, proving my fact that the egg is definitely the lowest or the worst crate. All right, trophies. Let's see if you can do better than the eggs. I believe in you. Come on. Maybe not. Okay, slight improvement. Painted and certified this time, but on arguably probably a worse item. Still got two more. Why are all these rares? <gasps> but it's a good rare. And it's it's a good color and a good certification. That is a win. Even yes, it is a rare. Obviously, we could definitely dream and hope for something higher. But it's an Octane Slimline. Probably one of my favorite of the quote unquote clean decals for the Octane. Not bad. Four back to back golden crate rares. We're going strong with the painted and the certified, but why all the rares? All right, Pumpkin 23, can you do any better? You don't have much competition, honestly. Here we go. This, this, this can't be real. This can't be real. Is it because I'm hovering over Black Market? Do I have to hover over Rare? A little reverse psychology on Rock League? Come on. Better. Oh, that could have been so much better. The Humane Wheels are amazing. Oh, no. Where did all that painted certified luck go, huh? That's the one it should have been on. Another rare. Another painted rare? And it's another saffron. Okay. Well, at worst case scenario, we did get two painted saffron octane decals. The griffin is another super popular, really nice one as well. Moving into what I believe arguably is probably the best crate out of those golden crates, and we do have the most of them as well, is the golden toolkit. We've got five of those, and then we'll head into the trade-ups. Come on, toolkits, don't fail me now. Already better. Already better, okay. Still no paint or certification on that, but that's all right. We've already got a very rare. Starting off better. Back to back, very rares. <gasps> and Reapers Tactician certified. That is amazing. Easily probably the best thing we've got in the whole opening so far. I love getting painted Reapers. I've gotten so many in the past. Honestly, I didn't know Reaper was in the Golden Toolkits. I didn't remember. So that is just an incredibly happy surprise. I'll take that. Great certification too. Nice. Another very rare. Oh, but it's my green banner. <laughs> oh no, that's such a disappointment compared to the Reapers. All right, last toolkit. Come on. And we're gonna end on a rare. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. All right, I did get permission though to do the trade up, so we're gonna go in and move our way into that next. All right, we are gonna be trading up all of the unpainted uncommon drops that we got. So we're probably gonna get only maybe like one or two trade ups out of this. Here we go, here's the first one. Obviously we're trading up into rare. Rare, you can't get that many great of things. So, you know, we're not missing out too much. And here we go, second and final of the uncommon trade-ups. Oh, the chaffed cherry. I forgot about all those food toppers. Yes, those are actually all non-crate rare toppers. We're definitely gonna trade up all of the non-crates and the non-painted. I will probably be saving those two painted octane decals that we got though. All right, truncheons. Hey, that's actually really good because that is coming from the golden series. That might give us a chance at a golden series import. That's not bad. Wait, <gasps> yo, I don't even know what I traded up. That was a golden crate, but I'll take it. Nice. Second black wheel of the opening. The chakrams had to have come from one of the golden series. So it must have come from that 20% chance of being a golden series from that trade up. That is awesome. And that's the best color for the chakrams. That is definitely worth keeping. And that is a win. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. More chakrams. Didn't get a paint him that time because that was all non crate, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Let's start off into the imports. Neothermal, nice boost. Can't be painted out of the non crates. 
We got four of the Dominus dot matrixes out of those and three snake skins. Oh my goodness. Octane! We got an Octane! And guys, after season 13 has started, it now has that it's Fortnite available. <laughs> but guys, we got a painted Octane. Let's go. That is another, like I said, surefire way to say that this is a win of a drop opening. If you get a painted Octane or a black non-crate wheel, in my opinion, those are pretty much the standard as to what makes it good or successful and now we have gotten both let's go cobalt is a great color as well we'll always take that and guys we do have enough for a black market trade up wish us luck guys this is the one and only black market trade up but honestly like i said we got an octane we got a black non-crate wheel this is definitely a win of an opening here we go three two one magma no i will show you guys why i'm unhappy about getting a magma now this has been a problem since this decal came out into the game it has never been fixed i guess maybe it was made to look this way that or honestly it's very possible they might just not care to fix it but this is the magma i actually think it's really cool in theory but if you look at it it's not very smooth it looks like it's dropping frames something about that i don't know it's i just feel like it really had high potential of being a good black market but just didn't quite get the attention that it needed to look good all right these are the items that we are left with after the trade-ups this is everything we decided to keep we did get the orange reapers the black chakrams two painted falcos a black market and to top it all off a painted octane that he did not seem to have yet in this inventory so that is a huge win Thank you again to him for letting us use his account to open and I will see you guys next time.